What's up guys? So we got a new update to talk about. It's mostly just quality of life things and, and bug fixes, a couple more items disassembled than they used to. The link for this will be in the description below. The main update is the Byrophyta Moss Giant Mossy Key boss. Um, the Mossy Keys you got from the event, you can now kill the boss, which has some pretty interesting drops. Before I get into that, I do want to say um, for the next 24 hours, the default luck boost is has been increased, so now it is currently a luck of the pugs. Basically, everyone is wearing a Luck of the Pugs right now. Even if you have a Luck of the Pugs already on, you'll have double Luck of the Pugs. So, just envision, if you didn't have any Luck Boosts, you take all my Luck Boosts away. Right now, I have a Luck of the Pugs on. It's invisible. I, it's kind of confusing to explain, but that's that's the best way to do it. Just to, just pretend everyone has an invisible Luck of the Pugs on. So, there is a nice little Luck Boost for the... It's only for 24 hours. This is, again, to make up for... There was a... Um, a rollback, I think it was Monday. Monday, Tuesday, I'm not sure. Earlier this week, there was a rollback. And um, just to sort of make it up to you guys and give you guys an event something, we've got, you know, 24 hours of luck boosting. So this is the best time to play. It will end tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you've got 24 hours from when I'm uploading this to, to, to get in there on the loot. So with that further ado, let's let's kill the, the Masi Kiba. So this is probably spoilers, um, you know. Is what it is, but I do want to show these seven on on, on uh, you know on on screen. So here's how to get to the new bus. So if you don't have Donator Zone, go to Edgeville, and then go south, and there will be a ladder to get to Edgeville Dungeon. Go to Edgeville Dungeon. If you do have access to Donator Zone, and this is just the first zone with five dollars, so I assume most of you will have it. You can find this dungeon expert over here, and she will teleport you there. the The idea was to add more dungeons to the teleport, but I forgot. So just one right now, but just keep in mind that this will be a nice little update for the future. Uh, brings you right to Edgeville Dungeon. Come over here. Go through the pipes. Let's pray just to get that ready. Got a luck boost. Yep, I do have every luck boost. I don't... Um, it's it's weak to magic and crush, but it doesn't really have that high of stats in the first place. So I think this gear will suffice. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Fight the boss. And Boom. There you go. Apparently, you can save spot it. I don't know. I'm guessing it's because multiple people are killing it at once. Um, or I'm um, touch... You know, I, I really don't know. I have no clue, but it, I don't care. You can do it. It's not really meant to be like a difficult boss that challenges you. Um, it's it's just a boss that you kill for tank loot. That's all it's for. It's a tank loot boss. That's, that's the code name, so... What we're going to do is we're just going to let this not walk to me. I, I know why. It's a similar issue we had recently with KBD. Um, I'll look in a fix again, but for now, I'll just you know, do this and you're good to go. Oh, wow. We actually got a Eternal Crystal for our first loot. You're always guaranteed to get five Sinister Keys no matter what. So there is that. Um, you can use this little portal down here. I didn't want to do a client update for one thing. This was the only thing I was going to change in the client, so I just decided not to do an update. But next update, it'll say something other than Clan Cup Portal. Um, and, and weirdly enough, it does actually come get you. I wonder if I'm, I... It does have a special ability where it drains your prayer. I wonder if that's why it stops moving. I don't know. But what I will do is I will resume when I have the other loot saluted. But you can see it's a very simple bus. does not hit through prayer. It is supposed to drain your prayer, but I believe it's a 1 in 5 chance. I haven't really seen that. I, either way, I'll show you the next loot. Hey, Harry just got the first Twisted Bow. This thing does drop Twisted Bow. It is the same rate as from Vasa, so... It's not like you're likely to get one, but congrats, you got one. Jeez. Our third loot. Uncut Onyxes, seven, I'll take it. I want to go get magic, even though you don't need it. It's slow. Might as well speed thing. Might as well speed things up and go get magic. Here, oh, crack a tentacle, nice. That's actually a really good loot. If you, uh, <laughs> if you look at the loots, <laughs> you can kind of tell <laughs> who would benefit from these loots. And and look at look at who did benefit. Look who did benefit from these loots. That is the best part of owning a server you play. You you have full control. <laughs> this thing drops a staff called Byrophyta Staff, and it's really good. Um, odds are I'm not gonna get it in my next three keys, but if I do, I'll show. I'll, I'll go on my other account and show you what it looks like. Next loot staff, dude. Can I get the first staff in game? No. Oh, somebody got a mystery box drop earlier, and they said that it, they didn't get it. It just like glitched out, and they didn't get anything. But I just got it; it worked fine. So that's confusing. 
And our last loot was another Kraken Tentacle. So not bad, we got some unique items. We actually got two useful items to me. Uh, the, the Eternal Crystal and the uh, Tentacle right there. Alright, so let me show you guys this staff. This staff is pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. It all came together really kind of fast. Like, I didn't even know about the staff uh, until I started, like, working on the bus. I did not know anything about... Uh, the, what am I? I'm clearly doing the wrong IDs. Here we go. So, um, the best way to think of it is a polypore staff. Think of it like a polypore staff from RS3. It has a pretty good drop rate on the table, on the bar of five table. It is very rare, but it is the highest a very rare item can be to be considered a very rare. So, uh, I expect a couple to be in game, although no one's gotten one yet. This is what it looks like. You do have to be on normal spell book, similar to the trident. This is what the spell looks like. In my opinion, it looks pretty nice. Looks pretty gnarly. And uh, max hit is 50. So you can sort of do some pretty crazy combos with like... I'm just going to use this Gatter Hammer <laughs> as a bad example, but like... Let's say you're in max mage gear, then you switch to all your AGS shit, and then... Uh, bam! 88! <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm a big fan of the weapon. I think it came together pretty nicely. I'm curious to see how it affects combat. Like, I, I wonder if this is the item to take magic to the next level. Or maybe not. I mean, you can see I have no boost on right now, and it's pretty... It's hitting, you know, reliably. And on a monster, you know, on a monster that's weak to magic, it should... It, I mean, we just one-shot it. Legit, that's... 50 is its max hit. We just one-shot that with really no luck boost, no prayer, no potions, nothing. So, I like the weapon. I hope someone gets it. I hope I, hoped I get it, but, you know, clearly that didn't happen. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, 24 hours to enjoy this luck boost. If I were you, I would get there. Won't be squirrel.